Today is M day, Mula Hut hike day. <laughs> we are going to go up as far as we can, hopefully get to the hut, um, depending on the weather. Behind me it looks pretty blue, but in front of us is a bit shifty, should be fine, but see the big glacier there. How are you feeling about the hike? Good, I think we're just gonna... We're comfortable with the conditions, so we'll see how we go. Yeah. It's just the wind at the moment, but we checked in with the DOC and it's not this manageable wind, so... Um, yeah, I think we're... After checking with the DOC, we're comfortable with attempting it. I might get one more photo before we get right into it. Yeah, just go for it. Path. And um, so this is kind of the train at the start. That's the village down there. Hooker Valley hike is over there. This is the way to Mueller Hut. Usually you could see Mount Cook behind me, but it's covered. It'll be a big mountain. We can um, get a clear view, but yeah, it's pretty cool looking at the glacier from this distance. It's quite a big glacier too. And um, so the, there has been a few spottings of avalanches here and there, but not on the path we're taking. We might see one off the path in the distance. So yeah, we're gonna tackle this Mueller hut. It's three to five hours to get there, depending on your level and how fast you are. Um, but yeah, you have to book for the DOC if you are going to attempt it. You can just walk up there and do a day trip, but staying at the hut, you have to pay. You can also so, camp as well. Yeah, you can. I was about to say that. Yeah, you can camp, as Shelby mentioned. So. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this is the start of the climb. Stairs. 2200 stairs, Shelby just said. I'm not sure if the camera picked that up. Microphone. Um, so yeah, just keep in mind, if you hate stairs, then you'll love this. <laughs> um, just show you a picture of the side view. That's it there. So, apparently they get steeper than that too. Oh yeah. So we're at the halfway point of the stairs and I'll tell you what, going up these stairs is a good fat burner. If you wanna do this as a day hike, holy smokes. I'm, oh, we are relatively fit and I'm like, I mean, we are pretty fatigued from the other hikes, but Mount Cook is slowly peaking out. I was gonna say, yeah, we're, we're pretty hiking fit, but we've, We've also done more hiking in a week than we have like in six months, so. I don't, I'm dead. I'm we're like we, sweating for we need, so much. We're going to need a holiday after this holiday. Yeah, I know. So this, this, it's pretty steep. It's, you can't really tell on the camera, I don't know. But like, put in perspective, I don't know if you can see those little gray path is where we are. Uh, you might see these people walking there. They're, they're just day hikers going to that lake point just there. Key point. The cars are just over there. That's where we parked. And we kind of like going up straight up on these stairs. And um, even if you get to this point, you don't make it to Mule Hut, it's still a nice view. Can you see the two lakes and then you see Mount Cook there, which is half covered by clouds. But yeah, well, the Sealy Khan Lake viewpoint coming up. Yeah, we still got more stairs to go. But we thought we'd just stop and just check out Mount Cook while it's out of the clouds which
We're in avalanche path. This is our terrain. This is our uh, no more stairs. It's all rocky terrain. You go all the way up to the top of that hill. There is people on that just on the top of it. And after that, it should come up to a section of snow. So, get all different levels of terrain. This one, you just gotta be careful not to roll your ankles, just watch your footing, because it is loose rock, but it's more the, the, uh, the steepness of it, which will be coming up shortly, is where it gets hard. You can see there's orange markers along the top. Rocky, rocky terrain, loose rock terrain on an uphill is never fun. It always slip. Finally got to the, the top of the summit. I mean, it's not summit. To um, Mule Hut. Sorry, I gotta catch my breath. That was a hell of snow down that. That was a steep bit. Can't see it, but uh, if we go forward over a tad, you could see Mule Hut over this where Shelby's standing. There's Mount Cook there. There's Shelby. We can't, there's a glacier. People up there, look down the views, this is amazing. Have a section now, it's just a bit of a, a cross action. Yeah, we got across there and all those clouds rolling in. Oh, that viewpoint there, we should go where the skies are. Check it out if you want. Yeah. Man, there's a waterfall, glacier waterfall there. So, yeah. Hydrate and then we'll keep going forward and I'll you get to see Mueller Hut. So we just stopped at a, a bit of a viewpoint here. Oh. You can see the glaciers. Oh wow, it's so windy. Oh that glacier there. A little cracks in it. They could potentially be Avalanche, especially those ones on that crevice there. That might be the sun blaring on it. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is something. So Mueller Hut is just around there somewhere, so we'll go there soon. There's no rush getting there. You're so close to glaciers or almost eye level with it.
you got Mount Cook in the background as well. It's beautiful. And all you see is these alpine mountains, when they've got clouds, you can like, it almost looks like it's like rolling towards you, but it's kind of just shifting back in the same spot. It's kind of weird how it works. Some of it comes down, but the wind, alpine wind is, works different to obviously normal wind that we know of, but see how it just creeps over the mountain. Looks really cool. Um, yeah. What's that ahead of us? Mule Hut. Yeah. <laughs> That's Mule Hut. We just got... Great looking at Yeah. We're nearly there. It's easy. Bit of snow and rock terrain. The colour contrast here is nice. Your brain and body are confused, I don't know what it wants to do. It's like, I'll leave your jumper on, but then the sweat says take it off. But then the wind hits the sweat and you're like, ooh, no, keep it on. <laughs> yeah, that is a good shot. Glacier behind you, other than that orange pole, but I mean, that doesn't matter. Part of the hike, but that is cool. You see is the outhouse. Oh. Just heard another one. No, nah. don't know where it came from. I'm trying to get an avalanche. It'd be cool just to see one. That's not my path, obviously. Yeah, that's where the toilet is. Washroom, outhouse. Fly. How are you going? So, yes, it's been a change of weather today, that's for sure. Yeah. This morning was absolutely atrocious. Inside of this rock here. Everything you brought in, make sure you bring it. Alright, let's get set up. Yeah. Alright. So this... So now you have to go and your crocs. Yeah. So this is... Okay. All right, so these are the bunk rooms. Shelby's choosing a spot. <laughs> so you put all your gear here. You got these mats. You have, to, you have to bring your own sleeping bags and stuff. So obviously. So yeah. And then I'll show you the kitchen and do other shots soon. Alright, so this is our corner that was set up. You excited, Shelves? Yes. <laughs> to choose our bunk. Yeah, we got here a bit early, so. Nice and crazy. Got the cheese out spot, and then that's our view. Well, I mean, I can't. I don't have to go closer, but. I can't see because of the <laughs> GoPro, it's pretty wide over there. But yeah, very excited to be here.
so you probably couldn't hear me before but um we made it to the top of Mount Olivier which is a it's about a 30 minute ish hike from um I wouldn't even call Moore's it a hike I wouldn't call it a hike more than a boulder hop scramble <laughs> yeah it was pretty it was challenging but um this is the top here which gives you a view of Lake, Lake Pikaki which is just over there and like the whole national park kind of this you valley at least yeah you see all the whole national park there um well you can see the whole hooker valley too yeah the whole hooker valley track and then yeah there's Shelby on top of another mountain touch the top stone touch you know you touch the seconds you touch the top top one you know they let people know that you've touched the top there there you go all right now do it again with uh Mount Cook in the back. <laughs> you don't have to. Huh? It's just, it's just Jackie, it's just One a rock. It's just a rock. <laughs> but yeah, we did it. This is cool. Got the sunshine glowing through. So yeah, so you can do it obviously on the day if you got energy. If not, you can tackle it in the morning or how long you're staying at um, Mueller Hut. But it is nice coming up to. It's freezing too, icy wind um, to see the view. I don't know about going any further, but probably not do that. This is well, the I'm actual sure point. What, I don't think they're, they're probably separate tracks to maybe other mountains, but this is the track where Yeah, this is the like. track. So if you go off further, that's on you. We're just doing by the, what the hot warden said. So we don't want to go off track. Um, Cause as you can see, you can easily slip and fall. And then obviously this could turn to an avalanche and you'll be buried. But yeah, if you, Lake Pukaki, uh, you can't really see it, but it's um very light blue it's really it's a massive lake and then yeah so it's very nice now it's time to go back and we'll go back here yeah. it's about to say i was literally about to say that we head back and make some dinner so yeah it's the clouds have definitely moved in now um it's covering the mountain mount cook is still showing a little bit got the sun the sun hitting on it so we might get a good sunset see how this all this clouds go if they pass by so yeah we head back down to the hut make some dinner we just gotta go through the ridges and back down so